Remember, a happy relationship is not all about flowers and cozy dinners. To have a satisfying and lasting bond which makes both people feel happy, the partnership needs clarity in communication, respect for each other, and last but not the least, good habits. Remember how in the initial stages of dating we put up the best of behavior to impress that special someone. Not continuing with that is not only unfair, but also misleading. It is best to continue in the same manner after making a serious commitment, since bad habits could lead to unwanted mistakes which in turn can make a great relationship take a spin for the worse. Here are a few useful tips to keep it real in your relationship. Constantly talking about your ex once you are in a committed relationship you may be expected to be upfront with your partner about your previous affairs. However, it should not get down to constantly mentioning him, her in your conversations. Furthermore, comparing your current partner with your ex could result in major cracks in the relationship. Not giving each other enough space. When you are in love, you may want to do everything together. That might be fine early on in the relationship but as you go along in life, too much of togetherness may damage the relationship instead of helping it. A little bit of me time for both will help you to enhance the relationship and at the same time value the time you get to spend with each other. Trying to change your partner. Don't try to improve your partner, thinking that you're doing so for his or her own good. You can never find a perfect person, so don't expect unrealistic changes. Trying to change someone's inherent personality by expecting them to be more social and reduce their shyness or fix their anxiety levels can be an underlying cause and turn into a real issue. Creating drama. Try and avoid creating drama in every small situation. Stop being super sensitive. Creating a scene for each small thing is equivalent to nagging and your partner, who is not going to like it after some time. He or she may make attempts to calm you down, agree to your views and pamper you, but all that will stop if they see that you are making a habit out of it. Instead try to ignore small things and whenever you encounter such an issue, breathe slowly to calm down so you can deal with it. Unnecessarily getting into the jealousy mode trust is a key factor in any relationship, so have faith in your partner and respect them if they want some privacy. Your insecurity may cause you more harm if you keep doubting your partner's intentions. Talking about it is a better way rather than snooping around to find out hidden proof in the each other's wardrobes, wallets or checking their cells or laptop for texts and mails. Spying on social networking sites is a definite no-no. Bad timing. However, if you decide to talk it out, take care to decide on a good time and place to have conversations about important issues. Arguing in public is a strict no-no. Also, bringing up serious topics at the end of a long day is equally bad. So is talking it out at a party hosted by you even if it is at home. Pick up a time when you both are relaxed and a place which ensures total privacy.